Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's solve an inequality. And what we're going to work on is we're going to show how to plot it on a number line. Should it be open and closed? And also, which way should I move the variables? Should I move it to the variables to the right or to the left? Okay, so let's get started. You may have been taught that you subtract the smaller variable from the larger variable. And that does work. Or you may have been taught, move the variables to the left and the constants to the right. And that works also. So I'll show you both ways and you'll see that you get the same answer. Okay. So on this side, uh, let's subtract the smaller variable from the larger variable. The advantage is, is many times this avoids a negative number. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the variables, and I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. Okay, so now these cancel, and I bring down the 2, and then 5x minus 3x is 2x minus 12. I need to move this constant to the left, so I'm going to add 12 to both sides. This equals 14. And then we have 2x because these cancel. Notice that we do not have any negative numbers. I'm then going to divide through by 2. These cancel. That gives me an x is greater than and equal to 14 divided by 2 is 7. So here's the first answer. Or I can do it the opposite way, and you'll still get a similar result okay so now let's just go ahead and move variables to the left in order to do that I've got to subtract a negative number okay uh, 5x minus 5x these cancel I'll bring down a negative 12 okay inequality seem, stays the same and then we have 3x and a negative 5x is a negative 2x plus 2, because I brought this 2 down. Now we need to move the constant to the right. So I'm going to subtract through by 2, which is an inverse operation. Bring down the negative 2x. Okay, The inequality sign so far stays the same. And then negative 12 and negative 2 is negative 14. Okay, now what we do is we need to get x by itself, so we're going to divide through by a negative Two. However, when you divide through by a negative coefficient, you flip the sign. So these cancel, that gives you x, okay? Negative 14 and negative divided by negative 2 is now a positive 7. And notice that you get the same answer as what we had over here because x is greater than equal to 7. x is greater than and equal to 7. Now we need to place it on the number line beforehand. Remember, if it's greater than or equal to or less than and equal to, it's closed. And if it's greater than or less than, it's open. So I'm going to do a number line. I'm going to place 7 on there. Since it is greater than or equal to, it's going to be closed. And the arrow goes to the right. And now let's check our work. Let's pick 8 is greater than 7. So I'll plug it in for x. 8 is indeed greater than or equal to 7. And I'll even plug it in over here. 8 is greater than or equal to 7. So there we go. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.